Okay, got the mini split installed that I talked about. So that draws air in from here, recirculates it, keeps it at a nice cool temperature, doesn't draw air in from outside. And it doesn't cool a room that's not being used. Um, man, all kinds of benefits. And it's gonna cut my carbon footprint in half for my air conditioning this year. I feel good about that. That was really important for me to do that. Again, this is some these things right here, this brand, I researched them for about, oh, I don't know, 14 months, 15 months. Almost a year and a half I've been looking at what type of head to get, how many BTUs I wanted, uh, you know, what was going to be the most efficient for my space. I wanted something with a remote. I wanted something that would run at a very low fan temperature. When I turn this one on, it's like, it's straight in your hair if I had any. It would just, it's just ridiculous the amount of air that comes out of that thing. And it doesn't do any good because within... I'd say, honestly, honestly now, in this room, with that air, this air conditioning unit, if I set it to, let's say, 77, I can only have it there for 15 minutes. And then I have to move it up two degrees, and in 15 minutes, two more degrees. And I do that until I get to 82 on my thermostat. And that's about right. I might have to go back every, about every four hours, I might have to drop it down one degree until the room gets a little cooler and then set it up again. And this is gonna do half of that. So yeah, I'm, I'm, really, I'm really happy about it. <laughs> we use our air here. We have the microclimate from hell. We have benefited from climate change. We have benefited from climate change without a doubt. When I was younger, we had, we, we, it didn't get much hotter than it gets now. Like, you know, 111, uh, to 114 is common. But when I was younger, it would last for many more days. So we'd have a solid week of just stupid hot temperatures. <clears throat> Sorry, my, I have a sore throat and my lungs are fucked up from breathing spray outside. It's like pumping a bicycle pump like the tube gets hot because you're compressing that air when air expands, it cools. When you compress it, it gets hot. And we live at the head of the valley here. So I'm, I'm, I'm right at the, you know, uh, at the head of the valley. And all we're surrounded. I'm surrounded by mountains. I can look over here and see mountains. Look over there and see mountains. Look over there and see mountains. Down the valley, nope, it's flat all the way to Sacramento. But up here, I'm surrounded by mountains. And the air up north comes down and it gets compressed down into the valley from the high pressure area. And that gives us our microclimate of stupid heat. So AC being efficient, that's number one. It really is. Um, we have a new roof with uh, IR deflection. We put uh, uh, IR screen, uh, film on the windows. We put a big shade over the entire yard. I did a video on the posts. Um, we try to do everything we can to stay cool. You know what I mean? Uh, but this is going to cut my carbon footprint in half. It's going to cut my carbon footprint in half every summer. And every summer that people use it after I'm gone. So I feel good about that. I do. Um, this unit that I have is going to go to the other side of the house. And it will replace the other one that's not so efficient. And so it all worked out. It really did. And we, I have the most awesome friends who... They know how to do all this stuff, so. Okay, I just wanted to talk about that. I feel good about cutting my carbon footprint in half for my air conditioning. That it, it's so much more efficient. And now we're going to be working on uh, solar energy. Maybe, I even thought about, you know, they're, they're, they're starting to have static wings that produce electricity from wind. Static, they just sit there, no spinning, no, nothing. I don't know what that would look like on the roof. That's the only detraction is you don't want these kind of things on your roof. It looks fucking stupid. But maybe it doesn't have to be on the roof if you can place it in the right area in your yard that gets a lot of wind. And I happen to have one of those out back because of a great big giant pine tree that I have right here. It deflects the wind into my yard when it's coming from the south. So, okay, yeah, half of my carbon footprint. I feel good about that. <laughs> 